told it's 4 4 and the, the updated score was 4 4. On the uh, device, it's telling me it's 6 3 to ball Edgar. Anyway, I've given up with the, the actual score on there because I think it's 4 4. So, looks like it's looking like this mixed all is just about to start. Uh, and everything is just about to start work. <laughs> Here's Dan Fairway. Dan, where have you been? Oh, no, we've been, we, we know, so we know all where know been. where you've there's, been. There's no need for that. We all know where you've been. Good to see you back, mate. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I was hoping to see you on this table tonight. Yep, same here, but I'll um, try not to be bitter when we get to the doubles final. No, you'd be uh, very neutral, won't you? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Mixed doubles uh, final. These are always fun. I like the mixed doubles. It's um, it's still a world final. Don't get me wrong, but it's a slightly less serious event. I would I would say than well, than the main. You know. I'd be careful of your words if you said <laughs> that in the TV arena. You know what I mean. Yeah, though. I do. There's a bit more. Um, I think I think all the doubles I think are a little bit more fun. Yeah. You know, there's a little bit of a team element in even though there's only a couple of you i think there's a little bit of a team element um it, it's a little bit more relaxed compared to the the singles you know i think obviously it depends who you're playing um you know the game that me and dan have just played against marshy and steve ellis was, was you know we were we were cracking each other up all the way through it was yep. it was a nice atmosphere and hopefully this one can be played in a similar okay, spirit. Team Wilson, very good player himself. Larry Chantley. Lur, sorry, Chantler. Chantler. Who are you backing for this one? Pickers? Well, I mean, I'd like to say Greg Davis and Claire Peaty. You know, Claire Peaty, she made that open final here in Newcastle at the last tour Greg Davis you know he's he's got a, an option to turn pro which he, he is now taking is he yeah good. which is exceptional like in the amateurs again. but we know we just know how good these North East players are yeah you know Lauren and Dean they're exceptional players and they've had a tough run to get to here so it wouldn't surprise me if they go out. I mean, look at the way this, they're starting off here. They just seem to be gelling. Lauren had a good run in the singles as well. It's a great break, that. It's no one. surprise to see him in the final. No surprise. So, key shot is coming up in a shot's time. It's going to be all about the angle. Directly behind this is Laura fine. Leaves Dean. Yeah, this is. Well, it doesn't matter directly behind because you still play it on and off the cushion. Just it's all about pace. This shot. Yep. Great oh, shot. Spot on. Absolutely spot on. Judged it to perfection. Oh, that's close. Oof. Oh, there'd be a puff of the cheeks there. I can tell you. Yeah. That. That was generous, I think. Yeah, it's just the pace it was played at. Always played at the correct uh, weight. In goes the eight ball. One nil. Break dish to start us off. As good a start as you could possibly have. Oh, I've been told by Ian Wilson, Boyle and Egg that have won three frames on the bat, so it is six three. They're one frame away from getting into the final. Paul Bamford. I think you'd have to have made the uh, Boyle and Edgar probably favourites yeah. from the start of the tournament. And I'd have to say, I think Marshy and Steve Ellis is probably second favourite. So yeah. if that is going to be the final, it, it it's probably the final that you might have called. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Paul Bamford, um, yeah, I wrong. will pass on your best wishes to Mr Barton. I certainly will. When I do talk to him, just going to let him rest up for a little bit. And uh, I'm sure he'll be very fit and back to his normal routines very, very soon. Thank you very much, sir, for that. Yeah, with some, some more fantastic pairs, ob obviously, in the doubles. There were some incredible, incredible matchups there. But um, 
Yeah, yeah if, if Boyle and Edgar can come through that, I do think it's the final that, that you might have called. Well, Stephen Ellis is also going to turn pro as well, so it, it stalks itself, doesn't it? They won't be playing with each other no, in the doubles no, next year. No possibility of that. that. <laughs> oh, you two can play together, okay? Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to be a force for years to come. <laughs> wow, there you go. Oh, you're not making pro. You're not <laughs> no, taking exactly. pro state. So, no, no. Just give it up, yeah. <laughs> just for the doubles. Oh, he's, there you are. But we better get some, uh, get the vacancy in there for the need a co-coms <laughs> uh, for next February. Yeah, here's the here's the key shot. If Claire can, if Claire's, I think you take the one to the middle here. I can see this, but and that's a good shot. It's opened up the eight ball. But I think you've got to take that yellow to the the middle now. The one closest to the right hand cushion. Uh, I don't see that you get on it any better. Yeah, this is the shot. Needs to bump the red out of the way, not get snookered in behind it. And that is perfect. It's a great shot. And now Claire just needs to leave Greg a little bit low. And not hampered by the the black idea as well, so that he can he can screw across for the remaining yellow. So again, I think that's spot on. There's a gap for the cube between eight ball and red there, so Greg can get to the bottom of the cue ball. Might be a bit straighter than he'd want, because he's kind of got to stun through the gap between the two reds. You feel if he tries to screw it back, he's Dicing with death. Big shot, this. Mm. Gonna keep going. Red. Played it off the red. It's a great effort. Has. He left a shot. I think he might have done. But yeah, I think he's left enough to that yellow. It's really difficult. This is a tough pot. He's asking a lot of clear here. But she's more than capable of getting this. I think you'd want to play this with a bit of running s side as well, just yeah. to run into the red. I think just to pot it. And what a shot. If that's got this. this yes, that's yeah, a great brilliant shot. <laughs> Tell you what, he really. He's put her under a little bit of pressure there, to be honest. Greg did. Hey, what very impressive way both of these mixed doubles have started this match. Yep, if you wanted it's just any dish. question that's answered as to why these two are in the final, they've answered it immediately. Uh, these two pairs, I should say, all four players. They've fantastic weeks here in the mixed doubles. And they have started this final as they mean to go on. One all, two dishes to start us off with. to six in the mixed. No penalty shoots out in this format. No, just the ruthless way in it. Would you like to see a penalty shoot out in the mix? Is Would that a, something that's ever been up for discussion? <laughs> we've, we've, never, we've never done it to be honest. It used to be a race to fives, uh, so they have increased um, over the years. I think I'd just love a shootout. Yeah, because you've won a few, that's why. So <laughs> bit, they are a bit ruthless at times, the old shootout. Another superb break, this time from Lauren Chandler. Really got hold of them. I think, I think that yellow below the cue ball is really awkward so it reds it is even though reds perhaps look a little more difficult because of the reds near the side rails but what you would say is there's big pressure on this clearance because now that one of those 
the reds is out of the way, the yellows are really easy. Options here, but you'd, you'd think perhaps off two cushions and around the back of the red. She might screw her across, that's dangerous. And I don't think she's anywhere at all. I think Dean is in trouble here. He's got a thin clip to the left centre, and that is about it, with no guarantee of position afterwards. How about you, Mark? I don't think he could hold for position on the, the lowest of the reds. So he might almost have to go up table. Unless, is he taking this on as a double? He is. Yellow was in the way. What an opportunity for 2-1 now for Greg and Claire. Yeah, looking at this, obviously, I'm just going to drop this yellow in. Just going to drop this yellow into the middle. This is the tricky shot. It's all about the angle that left here. That kind of thing. It's a lovely angle to try and screw through the gap between eight ball and red. Um, it's the braver way of playing it, but yeah. if you get down there, then it's the last good shot you'd have to play. If you don't, if you don't take that on, I, I don't actually see how you land nicely on another yellow because no. they're all they're all sort of covering each other in the top half of the table. Yeah, I think this is the only way. Unless well, you know, draw it back and get on the far cushion and that. I know it's gone through the gap as it come out. That's pretty good. It's, oh. it's not perfect. I think Greg might have to play a good plant here. Um, could play the yellow he's closest to and maybe if he really digs into the cue ball he holds the white on the red but deciding that's too risky yeah like that shot played the lovely plant yeah played that really nicely and now claire can just top that one in bulk through okay she can go this way too bit straight. Now Greg's probably going to screw on and off the side rail here. Has to be wary of the red in the middle of the table if he's going to do that. It's either that or he just leaves a long pot for his partner. He'll try and get close to it. Yeah, that's a great shot. Did it well. Judged beautifully. This eight ball for 2-1. Really high standard match so far, just the one error. Yeah, from Dean, just with that double, really. It obviously, just swung off a little bit wider. Yeah, I mean, arguably the error was the shot before. It was a wasn't a great positional shot. There's Wayne Fryer at the table. Mark Boyle's enjoying life. Look at him. He's yeah, even Gio's <laughs> laughing as well. Or obviously, Smiling. chirping about something. Well, Mark and Gio were playing next to. Uh, myself and Dan when we played Ross Fernie and Kieran Kay and they were clearly had a good rapport um, and I think that's really important in the doubles and I think again Craig Marsh Steve Ellis exactly the same thing so um, I'd expect to see quite a lot of um, banter in the in the doubles final if it is those two pairings that get through but of course Wade Morley and Wayne Fryer still have something to say about that if they are going to make it, it is going to have to be via the penalty shootout. Frame four. 
Davis Peter to break. Leading two frames to one. Time running. Into the fourth frame, Greg Davis to break. Got a good break on him, is Greg. This time it's a cut break. That cue ball was tracking towards the right centre. So it's going to go in there. Got blocked off and he's made a ball up to the top right. But this is a really awkward table. I feel like you can't really afford to go yellows because of that yellow that there that Greg's pointing his cue at. It's so isolated, there's no easy way to get that out. I'm not quite sure whether that was an attempt at the plant or just a <coughs> yeah. almost turning the table over. Because the thing is, if you could if you sort of force your opponent into reds, maybe they feel like that might be their best chance of winning the frame. Almost turned the table over and said, we don't want it, you have a go. Just return the favour. Uh, see what the best option is here. I think this is one of those there where you possibly want to use your extension. Nobody wants to go reds here. <coughs> but equally, nobody wants to go yellows. <laughs> Okay, there's still a long way to go in this frame, isn't there? Yeah, you <laughs> the yellow and bulk is is not in a good position, and the two reds on the left hand side are also not in a good position and it's it's hard to see a way out on either colour set it's just quite unusual actually Greg's taking the initiative he's decided can't mess around anymore. It's time to have a go. Or at the very least, get a colour set. But both sets still have a fair amount of control here. And the only problem, I think, for, for Greg and Claire is Dean now can just open up all the reds because that. That yellow is still in a hor horrible position. Yeah, that's not a bad effort either. No, I, th I think what what Greg and Claire need to do probably is find a way of getting another yellow into Bork. Um, well, Greg's just decided to get it out now. Had a bit of a touch there, I would say, because that red near the eight ball did go 
up to the top left and now it doesn't so that's going to require some attention oh that's a beautiful shot yeah it's a perfection yeah Lauren Chandler nailed that one just wanted to cover the pocket and I make reds a pretty strong favourite from here pickers yeah obviously just that red on the left hand side and <coughs> in the pocket I get it the only problem is that red does pass down into the uh, playing red onto red plant so as I just put that yellow there to block the black or does it go into the left centre 6-5 in the doubles Wow. 6-5 we need to keep a close eye on that one I think we do indeed so because if not that, well with that one more frame Goes to Morley and Fryer. It's going to be a shootout. Chance for you to get your Tom Hardy impression out. <laughs> yeah. Sure, you'll do a better job than me at that. Oh, we need Dan Davy for that, I think. Yeah. He's the impressionist on the team. Yeah, he is, isn't he? He's gone now, though, isn't he? He's on his way home. Yeah, selfish. <coughs> Yeah, safe journey, John. John? John, Dan. Did I say John? Hello, no, what a Dan. shot this is. What a <laughs> shot this is. Wow. That's superb. And I think it's worked out okay. Um, because no, no, you're still no, on the one it? over the bottom left. So... I it, have the cushion, though, as well. Yeah, if, if you pot this, and as long as you get out for the other one over the corner pocket... Got to get out. Ooh, got to get to out. With something. That's all right. Ah. It's all right. I think. I don't know. I don't know. I think it might just about be okay. Cushion first. <laughs> it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I think you go cushion first. I think you can clip the red in, and if you get the red, I think the natural angle will leave you on the red next to the eight ball. Oh. But you've got to get the red. And that's a big error. That's a bit tighter than we thought. I mean, it was obviously tight. Another error. Half expected him to perhaps try and bend the cue ball slightly. But, um, bit of confusion about, I think, picking the cue ball up here. I'm not entirely sure. TV or table. They, uh, I have to do it. Yeah, the referee. It's the referee's job. If you want the cue ball, you have to ask the referee. I wonder if Greg and Claire will... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's happened here. Oh, did they perhaps not know whose turn it was? Didn't want to play out of turn, so we're just double checking. Clock's running down, there's only 10 seconds left, so Greg needs to get a move on here. Although he has had enough time to think about the shot, you would think. That's not great. That's not great. That, that eight ball does go in the middle. But it's much more difficult than it could have been. Yeah, he rushed that shot. Not sure what the confusion was. As you said, it's not 100%, but it looked like that's what it was. That, whose shot it was. Key shot will be that last yellow in the bork area. It will be Greg's shot, and his task is to get Claire as close to that eight ball and behind it as possible.
think he'd, he'd like a little bit of angle. Doesn't want to be straight on it. Might have liked a bit more than that, Mark, but I, I don't think it's too bad. I think you play this with chunk of running side and you're going to get over that direction. He's trying to screw it, is he? Stun it across. Oh, played it well. Played it beautifully. That's a great shot. Very, very good indeed from the pair. Sat on the right of your screen there. We've had an excellent start to this IPA World Championship Mixed Doubles Final. Now then, we're going to play a little game of Guess the Pocket. This is Mark Boyle earlier on in the doubles semi-final. Uh, you've got five seconds. Guess which pocket this yellow ball ends up in. We all know which pocket it should go in. Here we go. What's this one? This is in the doubles. Ooh. Oh no. That is thick. Absolutely thick. And there is table three. Once again, Mark Boyle is prowling around the table. Oh, and if he's on yellows, with Geo Edgar, it's hard to see a way back to the table for, for Wade Morley and Wayne Fryer, isn't it, Mark? Yeah, you'd expect it this to be over, this opportunity. They're looking like they're going to be into the final. As you've already you know, highlighted that, you know, there probably right. were the best two pairs on pen and paper at the start of the event. No offence to anybody else entered. No, no, no. There's some unbelievable pairs, but yeah. Oh, got into that, Dean has great break. What's the opening shot like? Not sure if it's on that yellow in the centre. Yeah, if 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 Lauren's on the yellow to the right centre, then this is a really good chance. If not, she's got a really tough opener. It. She's only really got openers on yellows. You've got. The longer one, down to the bottom left, that is horribly tough. Attention, and no guarantee of position either. You've got to you've got to give that some to get the cue ball back out. You almost just want to drift it in perhaps and play on the yellow next to the eight ball next. We should keep right across that. There's a bit of pressure, I think. What has she left for her opponents? Obviously the easiest yellow is the one towards the bottom left and that's the way it's going. Now is that a helpful little nudge? It's not really. A really tricky spot here is Claire, and I think she's shutting up shop. And she's done it very well. It's a good shot. Yeah, I think she's done what she could there. I mean, it had been. She may have left a red to left centre. She may also have left a red to top left corner. Yeah, difficult to block both. Yeah, it really uh, was. If this is if this thin snick goes, then. Do the other reds open up as well? He's gone for the double. Um, so obviously they didn't go. I don't think that's worked out too badly for Greg and Claire there. You can see that yellow closest to the camera. If you land nicely on that, it goes to this bottom right corner pocket. And then... There's the yellow to left centre. So as long as you get on that yellow. Well, 
I would have thought those would have been the last two yellows of the, the finish, but Claire's not on it now. She's not on very much at all. So you heard a little bit of a round of applause then <coughs> and uh, Mark Boyle, Joe Agda there into the final. They did go on to clear them the others up and there's the official like result there in your top left hand corner. That final will be up straight after this one in the doubles against Stephen Ellis and Craig Marsh. <coughs> Scotland v Wales. In the doubles. England versus England in the mixed doubles. And this frame is right in the balance. Both colours now have their share of problems. That's a great pot from Lauren Chantler. Possibly come it's three or four inches too far here for Dean. He was straighter on this red. He'd like to be. I think he might just try and cover the pocket now. No, he's gone across table. Now, does that red go to the top left? It doesn't look like it does to me. Um, so now might be time to shut up shop. If you can, if you can get that red in the way of the yellow, then there's every chance. Oh, it did go. But they're really scratching here. They are really scratching around for this finish. Dean's got a horrible little cut back to this pocket close to the closest to this camera. He's made it, but he's made the cue ball as well. And things are going from bad to worse for the pair from the northeast. One visit. I'm running. This is a massive chance for a 4 1 lead, and in a race to six, it's hard to see a comeback. Not impossible, but 4 1 in a race to six is a big, big lead. Terrific pop there from Greg. Left a horrible little shot here for, for Claire into the centre. She might turn it down. She's going to. She's going to go up table first. Needs to swing this round and finish nicely on the yellow to left centre. That is possibly a little bit straight. Greg's going to have to force the cue ball across table here. Oh, and that's, again, it, it's a fraction off perfect. I thought it was going to be ideal. But it's still not a bad, an bad angle to drift across for the eight ball. And it has dropped just about, but it wasn't the most confident piece of queuing there. And now Greg is left an awkward eight ball. Really close to this blind pocket. Screwing into the red to hold the cue ball. Absolutely plumb. Right in the heart of the pocket. And we move to 4-1 now for Greg Davis and Claire Peaty. They are really in the driving seat in this mixed doubles final. The fifth and penultimate World Championship trophy to be handed out this week. The men's doubles will be the last. That will be next on your screens. 
contested between the Welsh pair of Craig Marsh and Stephen Ellis and the Scottish pair of Mark Boyle and Geo Edgar. Mm. Cannot wait for that. That's going to be a great game. But we've got a great game on our hands here as well. Six. Davis Peachy to break. Leading four frames to one. Time running. Good connection from Claire, but nothing down. Oh, I say nothing down. The last ball rolling finds its way to the centre pocket. It didn't look like it had the legs. Look at that, just there, rolling, 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 and finding the pocket. It's going to be a little bit of a heartbreaking sight for their opponents. So it's that lovely, lovely opening shot there from Greg Davis. Yeah, the big problem on reds is over on the right hand side of the table it's the red closest to the camera uh, is Claire going to have a go at getting into it now she is how's it going to come out that's not bad it goes now so there's one key positional shot to come in this frame if you can get the cue ball really anywhere between those two reds at the bottom of the table and, and fairly close to the cushion then you would think that would be the frame one so what's Greg going for here Are you trying to carry the, the other red in oh what a shot what a shot I'm nowhere near the laptop, but clip that one. This is an absolutely world-class shot from Greg Davis, and it should be a frame winner. How about that? I know. I knew you probably were, but, you know, it's nice to keep you on your toes. Yeah, it's not quite over yet, Greg's very straight on this red to the centre got to screw back for the red on the balk line next that is ideal lovely shot again these two seem to be making light work of this mixed doubles final they haven't really put a foot wrong yet Another good shot required here from Greg. But the eight ball goes in both corner pockets. So he can come back down table just like that. He's going to leave a straight black. This is great stuff from these two. Almost perfect pull. But the frame winning shot there from Greg Davis was the billiard shot he played to pot the red on the bottom rail. An absolute stunner will go down as one of the shots of the tournament, I'm sure. If 
five one in a race to six time is running out for Dean Wilson and Lauren Chandler another look at the shot of the final so far an unbelievable shot that really Frame seven. under all sorts of pressure as well if he didn't get that then the yellows were you know, they weren't too bad And when it's not going your way, it's just not going your way. You've got to feel sorry for Dean and Lauren here. They've played so beautifully to get to a World Championship final. But if Greg and Claire carry on the way they have been, then you would expect this to be the final visit of the match. All the reds are in the open. Case for yellows as well, but the two over on the left-hand side are a bit awkward. Slightly underdone that from... Greg, and then brought back into perfect position by his partner. A great team effort here. Oh, Greg Davis, what have you done? He has thrown one in there. Opportunity then, perhaps. For Dean and Lauren, can they put the cat amongst the pigeons? Well, not with that shot. Dean's gone ultra attacking and it hasn't quite worked out. I don't think there's any kind of a pot on here at all. Lining up. Is this a double of some description up to the top right? She tried to cut it down the rail. I think that was the attempt. But it was a horrible shot to have to go for. The second bite at the cherry. There, PT and Greg Davis. Lovely pop from Claire. Cubel's held up. It looks to me just in time. shot and this world championship final should be over not perfect that eight ball goes into the left centre so it's still a good shot to be played here I don't think you can just drop the drop the red into the right centre and lay on the black does it go long
he doesn't. This is a really testing pot into the right centre. And the eight ball's not going to be easy either. Does it go long? It does. A terrific shot. And that is the match, surely. Great pot there from Claire Peaty. And Greg puts the cherry on top of the icing that is already on the cake. A stunning performance from these two. A 6 1 victory in the IPA World Championship mixed doubles final. Dean and Lauren can be very, very proud of their achievements. It is an exceptional achievement to get to any final, let alone one at the World Championships. Credit to them. They didn't really have the chances to win the game, and it was because of the brilliance of the pair in the centre of your screen and the pair that are about to take centre stage deservedly as we hand over to Mark Pickworth in the arena for the trophy presentation. Well, and uh, wow, another brilliantly standard match there and uh, well played to both mixed doubles partners there. Round of applause for both these players, please. So all four players, should I say. <laughs> Dean, Lauren, please step up, just take a mic, just have a few words. Didn't seem it like it was going to be all day. Just, uh, I mean, you started off very strongly, and uh, just a few bits that weren't wrong. Well, would you say, Dean? Yeah, yeah. Just, well, we started off very well. They pretty much couldn't get one hand on the table the rest of the match. Yeah. Well, they were they were flawless here. Yeah. Apart from that ready miss in the middle in the last frame. Other than that, they were brilliant. And Lauren, you know, you've had a, a fantastic week this week. You know, you've really played your part in, in you know obviously playing your part in the world championships have you enjoyed your yeah. experience yeah like first time at an ipa event and i've really enjoyed it so it's, it's been a fantastic experience and to make it to a final has just been outstanding so and hats off to our opponents as well who did fantastic they didn't really give us much uh, much wiggle room in there at all so um it was nice to get the to get off to a good start with the reverse and then um, didn't seem to get back to the table much after that yeah, I mean, you, you both look very comfortable on the table because, you know, being in this TV arena can be very alien to both of you, especially if you're not used to it. Yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that these two are, but, uh, you know, it, yeah. it can really affect you. But, you know, you seem to be very comfortable in there. Would that be fair to say as well? Yeah, I, did, um, I still felt the nerves um, going into it, but I was glad that I was still able to kind of, still able to play, still able to hold the cue, so <laughs> that was... Yeah, yeah, I felt quite comfortable. I thought I'd try to play my normal game, just, mm -hmm. just didn't happen. Yeah. And a little bit about the World Championships. Have you enjoyed your, you know, yeah, to yeah, participate in it? Yeah, in the main event versus yeah. one of them. Uh -huh. Okay, well, thanks okay. very much. You played your part in a terrific mm -hmm. final. Well right. played to Dean and much. Lauren, Cheers. everybody. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> Greg, Claire, please step up. Just have a few words. And uh, how are you both feeling at the moment? Surely you're ecstatic, oh, you know. A bit lost really words, feel quite honest. proud. Bit lost for words, yeah. Uh, I don't really think we expected this, did we? But unbelievable, yeah. And Claire to play that strongly in a final against two fantastic players in M2. Surely you, you also feel that you know you've done a really great job. Yeah, I felt we probably played the best in this match all the way through. To be honest, which um, I'm surprised at because I was a bit nervous. <laughs> so um, well, we didn't show it. Yeah. We didn't see it. Yeah, no, no, I felt it, but um, yeah, just really glad to get over the line. And you know, I've got a great partner. Is um, I can always rely on him if I if I'm struggling, he'll he'll help out and vice versa sometimes. So Pleasure. It works, thank you. Yeah. And Claire, you've played in an IPA final before. Um, yeah, is this one completely different? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, yeah, because obviously this is a little bit different with the cameras and everything. Um, last time I wasn't, um, I wasn't on this table. So, um, yeah, even though I was nervous last time as well, um, I probably felt it a little bit more um, in this match. And I think it's just because you don't want to let your partner down as well, you know. So you always have that at the back of your mind. Definitely but yeah, didn't just, do that. Just, just played well. I felt. We know we both played well in this match, just so. Let me tell you, yeah. you played terrifically indeed. And Greg, obviously you're going to take the pro, pro status. Is this what really wanted you to, you know, really think about taking the pro status? Because to play in this arena all the time against the best players in the world? Yeah, definitely. It's what I want to do next season and uh, see where my game's at. I put the hours in, so 
Hopefully I can get some results next season and just huh. take it what, one, one tour at a time, yeah. see what happens. Well, you've had, a, you've had a great result here today and uh, I'm going to present you now with a trophy Thank because you, you are you. the Pure Organic Drinks IPA <laughs> Mix Doubles <laughs> Champions. <laughs> How does that Thank sound? You. Amazing. Well played to Claire, Petey and Greg Davis, everybody. Thank you.